Here we are at Mishawaka Chick-fil-A, where the people are lined up to get in this place. I would imagine in support of their stance on same-sex marriage. The cars are lined up. Excuse me? Pardon me? There's guys. Folks are waiting to get in. These folks drove 120 miles from Grand Rapids. All right. Yeah. <laughs> nice little bike show going on. Got the DuPont car here. They're packed. And literally, the line of cars for the drive through looks like it could be a good hour wait just to get in line. <laughs> we got the CMA here. All right. Woo! Come on, Papa, we go back to the car now. They taste kind of like cat, too. <laughs> the line is huge. I want to go interview these people. You want to go with me and interview these people? Yeah, we're going to interview these people. No, this is it. We're going to interview these folks and then that'll be it. All right. So tell us, why'd you drive 120 miles from Grand Rapids just to come to Mishawak or Chick-fil-A? There's no Chick-fil-A. Not a Chick-fil-A in Michigan. No Chick-fil-A in Michigan. Okay. I, I live in Michigan, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and so uh, why did you come to Chick-fil-A? You just wanted Chick-fil-A? To support the business. Good, support good. the business today specifically. Today specifically. Like all these people are here, right? Excellent. You know the reason, right? All right. Okay. It's more of a good business. It is a good business. There's some uh, family business. people who have uh, enough got to say what they stand for. They end up for what they believe. There you go. There you go. Yep. I just seen a guy over here, and uh, he's got a T-shirt on that said, "Anti-gun activist tastes like chicken." <laughs> so I don't, I, I don't know. I've had chicken. <laughs> I've had anti-gun activist. Thank you so much. Yes, have a good day. All right. How will we leave?